welcome back. As we as we have we have as Stuart Grant is gonna challenge for the lead. William Brock. Now William Brock, he he's trying to get through get by get down by day. Uh, he's unable to do it because well, he, he, well, everyone else got picked. Picked pretty much, I guess. But looks like William Brock might might get down this time, and he did. And this looks like we have as the eight. He's gonna as he's gonna lead yet on our lap, but he's gonna give the lead to the fifty of Griffin Lynn. As Daniel Voiles is 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 all the way back here. But he's still in draft. He's still in drafting position. Looks like the twenty of Josh Trash is gonna take the lead once again. I know this is not his first pull. But he, but he, but but this guy started on the pole. and um, we'll we'll see how good he does. Now, the question is, will there be a rat? And there were all, and a lot of them were single file for safety re, just to make sure they don't rack. Remember, these guys are very careful, but sometimes aren't very careful. As Griffin Lynn is going to try to reclaim first place, or maybe not. And William Brock is now stuck on the outside, probably, probably because of that. And, uh, looks like, um, Gabriel Waterlay, he's gonna try and get another win. He's gonna try and get a win. As well, you also have Julio Caesar. In the number 88. Not an inch. I just looks like the 50 has pulled away to a very decent lead. But not a big one, but a, but a decent one. And, um, you'll see. Okay. Marty Johnson, he's a... He and Payne Beasley are doing pretty good. And Payne Beasley made some moves here. Over there, nowhere near the front, as of this moment, as Julius Caesar is tucking the lead, but here comes the 32. He wants to get his third win of the year. That's the 88. He's gonna... He's gonna take the... He's gonna hold his lead. And now... As the 32, he's going to. Now the question is, can he finally make his move? Oh, there he goes. He's gonna do. He, uh, however, he does not really have any help. But he, there's the 20. He, he has a little bit of support there. As the third two is gonna take the lead once again. Now he's the high. He's gonna be the highest chase driver for quite a while since the next chase driver is Cameron Garlington, and he's gonna try and get down to the bottom there, as well as the ninety-four Jesse Turner. Oh, boy. William Brock is all the way back here, as well as some other drivers. And Gabriel Wonderlay. Word being. It looks like the top three are different manufacturers. I mean, we have Ford in first, Chevy in second, and Tontiac in third. That is very interesting indeed. As Matt Tuck is going to take the lead, but I don't know if the 32 can possibly. Maybe not. 
Looks like we now have a new chase leader. And his name is Cameron, Gar Cameron Garlington. Cameron Garlington. He's going to try and lock himself into the chase. He's going to try and uh, go ahead and go underneath the one. And try and challenge for the lead. Ford is very, very dumb. I think Ford might possibly win a championship. And again, Pontiacs are strong as well. As Cameron Garlington, your Daytona 500 champion, has not won since for the Daytona 500. And he's, can he get his... Can he hold on with two to go? Can he make it? Can he hold on? And not let anyone else buy him. As they're here, they come to the white flag. One more time around. Will Jesse Turner make a move on him? Or will Cameron Garlington stay out there? Looks like... Looks like Jesse Turner was about to make a move, but... It doesn't... It didn't work. Oh, but here we go! We're the lead, but... But, but we got two teammates helping out each other. Uh, th but then he helps Jesse Turner in the end. Uh, here, but, and coming off turn number four, will Nathan Ormond have anything for the 94? The answer is no. Jesse Turner wins at Atlanta. Jesse Turner becomes the first chase driver to win a chase race. As, remember, Lucifer Sam did win the race, and he came in last place. Well, I did. came in last place. Well, I ain't that just, just uh, convenient, I guess. That, that, that's inconvenient. <laughs> first, first the first chase race, and last place the next race. Definitely not the race you wanted to be in, but not definitely the the pattern you wanted to be in. But you're not. But you, I, I, you, he's not really. In. Okay, so that doesn't affect anything too much. Just pretty much affects him. So the official standings here. So this is where he finished and all and whatnot. And it's, um, and Lucifer Sam, after winning last week's race, is finishes last place. And it's Jesse Turner wins. And, uh, uh, do we take a look at the standings? Gabriel Wanderlei does have the points lead. That is for sure. That's a little Studemir. Garlington. So, yeah, so here's the official standings. Just imagine your, uh, I imagine the C's, the guy, the drivers with the C's next to their names, have 5,000 5, more points than the, than the others. So, Cameron Carlington would be first. And Amir Schumer Jr. would be second. Garlington third. Colin McGovern fourth. Fifth. And then all the way down. Sixth. Seventh. Eighth. Ninth. Tenth. Eleventh. Twelfth. Thirteenth. Fourteenth. Fifteenth. Sixteenth. So yeah, definitely, definitely strange, strange indeed. So, so, so there's a lot of convenience there, as a uh, Rollington does have two wins. Let me remind you of that. And the next race will be at Kansas for the Whataburger 400. So these are the settings here. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later.